Happy Friday! Today we have an update on the softball and volleyball teams, details about the cross country meet last night, as well as info about the PSAT and more. It's Friday, September 4th, and this is MCHSLive.com News. Before we get into today's show, we have a very important announcement from Coach Thompson. Good afternoon. Whatever you're doing right now, stop. I need your undivided attention for the next few minutes. Over the past week, we have discovered a disturbing trend that has taken place involving our students. Some of you have chosen to take part in an Instagram account which promotes exposing other students at Morgan County High School. Our administration and law enforcement have already put a great deal of time dealing with this issue and will continue to do so as long as this continues. Whoever this coward is behind these social media pages will eventually be the one who is truly exposed. We know that this type of behavior occurs much more than we are made aware of through social media outlets. While we cannot police social media all the time, when it causes a disruption in our school, we certainly can and will take action. Cyberbullying is defined in our discipline matrix as transmitting any electronic communication that has the effect of bullying, harassing, threatening, or exposing another student to humiliation or ridicule, including but not limited to sending emails, instant messaging, text messaging, or social media posts. I want to make myself clear here. This type of behavior and bullying will not be tolerated at our school. I had a student come up to me yesterday and tell me that I always look mad. This was not the first time someone has told me this. However, if you get to know me, you will find that I'm a pretty nice guy. I think this person caught me while I was thinking about how mean and vicious some of our students can be. And yes, this makes me very mad. The expectations that we have for all of our students are very high, and it is discouraging that some of you have chosen to participate in this type of behavior. The comments that were disturbing to me the most this past week were the vulgar language and comments made about some of our female students here. I, like many of our staff members, have a daughter, and I cannot imagine the anger that I would have felt if these things had been said about my little girl. You cowards who hide behind your cell phone and choose to be hateful and nasty need to remember that these girls are someone's daughter, granddaughter, sister, niece, and friend. I'm speaking for all the other dads in the community who are doing their best to protect their daughters from the creeps out there who find pleasure in harassing and embarrassing young girls. And we know that this messaging is also done by other girls to be hateful. What is this all about? As a school community, we are much better than this. With all the terrible things that are going on in our country, your school needs to be a place that is positive and an escape from all the divisiveness that is currently taking place. Please know that our administration will continue to do whatever it takes to provide a safe and positive experience for you at Morgan County High School. You will find out later in life that these four years will be some of the most memorable of your life. Do not let the hatred and immaturity of a few kill your spirit and take away from you from who you really are. Those who know you best and your real friends know the truth, and in the end, that is all that really matters. With all that said, let me tell you what you'll be facing if, or rather when, you're caught and exposed. Because of the disruption that this has caused, you'll be automatically recommended to be expelled from Morgan County High School and will be given the opportunity to enroll in the alternative school known as Crossroads. You will not be allowed on the Morgan County High School campus during the time that you're expelled. You will also be reported to law enforcement for cyberbullying. If you have any information that you would like to provide, you can always send an email to one of our administrators. Your name will never come up as we continue our investigation. Thank you for your attention, and I hope that each of you will take this long weekend to do some soul searching and think about how you can be more kind and respectful to those around you. Thanks again, and have a great weekend. Thank you, Coach Thompson. Now some other announcements. On September 9th, there is an FFA fishing tournament. It is located at the MCH's pond and will start at 3.30. The tournament is the monthly FFA meeting, but anyone can participate. The cost to enter is $5 and snacks will be provided. The winner will take it all. 
Today is the last day you can vote for student council. Grades 9th through 11th are able to vote. Go to your class of Google Classroom so you can vote. You can pick up to four people to vote for. MCHS has decided to do a Saturday administration on Saturday, October 17, 2020. If interested, you must arrive no later than 8 a.m. Anytime after that and you will not be able to participate. Dismissal will happen around 12.30 p.m., but no lunch will be provided. If you would like to sign up, see your counselors and do it before September 16. Sophomores have no charge and must be signed up by September 16. Ninth, 11th, and 12th graders must pay $17 by October 2nd to Miss Young up in the main office. Today is the deadline to sign up for DECA, so if you still want to sign up, make sure you go by Miss Harris's room and pay your fee to join before you leave the building today. The Future Business Leaders of America Club has their first meeting September 10th. The meeting will be in room 721 right after school that day at 310. That does it for announcements today. It was a busy night for Bulldogs Athletics last night. Let us know what happened. That's right, Amelia. We had teams all over the place last night. The Lady Dogs softball team made a long trip to Burke County yesterday and must have gotten upset on the ride because they took out on the scoreboard when they got to the game. The ladies opened scoring on top of the first scoring board, three runs. They put up six runs in the second and four runs in third and six more in fourth. Oh, yeah, and they kept Burke County off the scoreboard, so they got to head back to Madison after four innings and 19-0 to zero win. The ladies are currently in second place in the region, but look to change on the Thursday when they welcome to first place team Harlem to Madison. We will have the game live on mchslive.com. Last night, the volleyball team hosted Hart County and North Oconee. The ladies started the action against the old region foe. The Lady Dogs sent Hart County home with a two set 25 to 10 and 25 to 20. We were led by Brooke Butler and Emily Sylvie. In kills, Addie Christian and Presley Hills combined for, for 14 digs and four aces. Anna Cox has nine aces. The Lady Dogs also won in two sets against North Oconee, 25-22 and 25-11. Butler Hills, Butler and Hills had 17 combined kills. Butler and Addie Christian had 26 digs to compare with Anna Cox, 16 assists. The Lady Dogs take the court again on Tuesday when they play two more regions opponent in Harlem and Cross Creek. The cross country team was in action last night at North Oconee. On the girls' side, Ella Ryan Cottrell led the Lady Dogs with a 10th place finish and a 24 to 4 time. Drew Byer Smith and Kaylin Barisco closed on the top three for the Lady Dogs. On the boys' side, Brandon Lane led the boys with a 25. A 21-02 time, he was followed by James Martin and Tyson Frederick. The lady, the dogs were back in action next Saturday at East Jackson for each invention nation. Also, thanks to Coach Ryan Shield for the footage last night at night's meet, at tonight's meet, at last night's meet. That's it for sports today. Now let's look at the at the weekend for the at the weather for the weekend. For the weather today, it will once begin, again be hot with a high of 92. Tomorrow and Sunday it will be hot as well with a low with the 90s and mostly sunny. The chance of rain is very low. Have a great weekend and let's check with Carson for more news. Thanks, Tally. For music news, DJ Khaled dropped a new music video for his song Popstar featuring Drake last night. Due to COVID, Drake couldn't fly back to Los Angeles for the video, so Justin Bieber decided to step in. Bieber is at Drake's place acting as he, if he is Drake. Even he, he was even rapping his own verse. Many were surprised when Bieber showed up. Many people might remember the show Bill and Ted, but director Dean Parasot has made a new Bill and Ted movie called Bill and Ted Face the Music. Bill and Ted have yet to start their rock and roll career, but now they must set out on a new adventure for their music can save people's lives. 
The award-winning movie Grease just released on Netflix. This movie was released in 1987, 42 years ago, and it's still a very popular movie that all ages of people should watch and enjoy. The new 2K21 video was just released today, so if you are a basketball fan, make sure to check it out. The new Marvel's Avengers game video game just was also just released for the current generation of consoles and will be coming to the next generation of consoles in December. So if you're interested, make sure to check those out. That is it all for news today. Have a great weekend. Amelia, do you have another award-winning joke for us? I do. This one goes out to our science department. I'm not really sure if I should do it. It's a chemistry joke. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just like in class, it got no reaction. Some of you will never get that joke, or lack of joke. That does it for the show today. Here's who made the show possible. Have a great three-day weekend. Please remember to be safe. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and make good choices. As always, go dogs.